as we discuss all of this revenue and taxing more of our people, this week, a media house in Ghana is going to be airing evidence of work that they have done at our borders titled Porous Borders, Joy Multimedia. Commissioner General, your own officers, and I see a man in uniform, uh, an officer I respect, okay. what are you doing to ensure that your own GRA staff, especially those with the customs division at the borders, who are engaged in aiding and abetting the evasion of taxes to the Ghanaian taxpayer, how are you, CG and GRA working to ensure that our borders are well protected so that we get the proper duties that for things that are coming into our country? Because you see the evidence when Joy Airs is, 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 is programmed this week. I have had a preview to the video in question uh, that is coming up and my leadership team, specifically the Commissioner Customs, uh, has always also been made aware. But uh, I would like to put it on the table that even before that video, um, the order or the processes around the borders, which most people refer to as a porous border, is a strategy or an initiative that is a burning one for the Commissioner Customs. Uh, and since he arrived um, with his background and uh, his experience, it's one of the initiatives that he has put in front and prioritized as his priority. Um, not all, the, some of the things that we hear, um, honorable chair, honorable member, about GRA staff, honestly, some of it is exaggerated. Uh, honorable chair, honorable member, uh, a month or so ago, the honorable minister led us in a workshop that we called a collaborative um, workshop. Most of the people at the port and across the borders that you see assessing taxes or for a lack of better word, um, probably maybe harassing importers, some of them are not our officers. Um, there are a lot of generalizations, but if I may pause and have Commissioner Customs come in with his strategy. Uh, Honorable Chair, thank you for the question. It's very important for us as a country. So the, the issue about the video, the video issue I'll come to that. But first, the porous nature of our bodies. I want to answer this. So, as a Commissioner of Customs, we have an agenda of applying Joe Special or Joe Special Intelligence. Indeed, we have been assisted by the Japanese International Cooperation Agency. So, what are we going to get out of this system? Now, when you have Joe special intelligence collection method or approach, what it means is that you have some level of border protection. You are able to identify hot spot, hot spot of smuggling. You are able to have uh, the root of smugglers. It gives you inter-agency uh, cooperation in terms of intelligence. Indeed, this system is coming in place in September, God willing. It is not only for Ghana. Ghana. Nigeria, uh, Niger, and Togo, and Cote d'Ivoire. The training is going to be given to us. And the, this training is likely to end 2026, God willing. Now, normally, when you have lack of manpower, you have to use, you have to use this system of geospatial intelligence. And the Japanese uh, government is actually will, willing, very willing to assist us in this direction. That is one approach, because now we have to apply science. We, cannot, we do not have the personnel. This science will reveal the position of the activities of our own and others, and that is, that is likely to give us a lot of revenue. Another issue has to do with even the marine unit. The waters that we have, all the water bodies that we have, we used to have a marine unit, but the marine unit, with all due respect, is no more. And we are now trying to reestablish. All the water bodies are empty. We have other, u other units like the Navy, but that's not a primary respon responsibility. The primary responsibility of smuggling or moving on board the uh, waters in terms of uh, revenue is Ghana Revenue Authority. Now, back to the issue of the video. I've seen the video, just, uh, just a synopsis of the video. Uh, I want to see the complete video. Indeed, 
indeed, if, uh, if based on the face value of what we see, full investigation will be conducted. And I mean full investigation. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, this is where I spent all my years in. So it's not going to be a doubt. I have, I have some know-how, let me say it for now, that if people are wrong, indeed, they will be dealt with. But I have not seen the video completely. I just saw uh, just a synopsis. And that, normally when you are doing a documentary uh, coverage, and you don't do it very well, the evidence should be clear. You shouldn't have any, the slightest doubt. But some, more often than not, you are not able to identify somebody. Is it, is it this person or is it this person? Well, I'm just hoping that the documentary is so clear to everybody. And that, like my Commissioner General said, if indeed it is our personnel, obviously the law will take its route. These are my little contribution to. Thank you, sir. <laughs>